Hello my fellow hollowed hunters, this is the Soul Spinatic, and today I will be making the Quicksilver Bullets from Bloodborne. A list of materials is provided in the description below. And fair warning, Quicksilver is actually Mercury, but since Mercury is toxic I will be using Gallium. Now to start, I'm going to use the Bake Hardening Modeling Clay to create a template. And like in the previous videos, I'm going to soften it. So, pour the hot water into one. Stick the small bowl into the water. Take a small bit of clay and stick it in the bowl. Cover it and wait about five minutes. When it's done, you can take it out and you'll have to shape it into a bullet. What I'm doing is simply rolling out a cylinder and then pinching the top to create a point while removing any extra clay. You're going to want to size your bullet to the amount of gallium you have available. After baking as directed on the package, this is what I ended up with. Now to me it looks like a very short pencil and you may get away with just using a short pencil for your template. But anyway, we're going to take the glue, put it on the flat surface of the bottom of the bullet, and stick it in the bowl like this. Like my previous videos, I'm going to use the reusable molding material to create a mold for my bullet. Now you're going to want to pour slowly to avoid creating air bubbles. Depending on your molding material, you'll have to wait for it to solidify. While it does that, we can prepare the gallium. Now, gallium's average melting point is 85 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're going to use the hot water to melt it. Quick warning, while gallium is not toxic like mercury, it is corrosive, and it will eat away at most materials. Don't hold it for long periods of time, wash your hands after touching it, and don't touch it to other metals, especially aluminum. My mold seems finished, so I'm going to pull it out, 
being very careful not to tear it. into there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but the gallium is melted. And now we're just going to open it up and pour it into the mold. You'll have to wait about an hour for it to cool off. Now that the gallium has hardened, you can take out your bullet. Now, since the gallium crystallizes, it may leave these angular patterns in your bullet. Uh, I couldn't get rid of these, and it was very hard to put in any smaller details. If you want to melt it, as seen in the picture, I recommend sticking your fingers in warm water, and then pinching the bullet. It will take some time, but the bullet should start melting where you're touching it. Thanks for watching, and a special thanks to Rock T for supporting my projects on Patreon. The month is almost over, and I have one more project to finish. Unfortunately, the Mensis Cage is a lot more work than I originally anticipated, and I will finish it next month. Instead, I will make Numbing Mist for this Thursday. <laughs>